<laughs> oh my god, okay. I've got it. I am positive according to this one home test. But I mean, I've got pretty much all the symptoms and even more that are apparently not even supposed to be there with Corona. So I would say I'm, I'm positive and I'm pretty positive that I'm positive. Love that for me. Okay, so I have COVID. I guess it was about time for it to get to me. In all seriousness, it's not fun, and I'm sorry if you're going through it as well or know someone who is. I hope you're okay and it ain't too rough. I would say mine was mild, but sadly my mom ended up in hospital with pneumonia, so that was hella stressful. It sucks because there's no one else to like bring shit to my mom. They don't even have toilet paper in this hospital. So I have to do it even though I'm also diagnosed and I should be staying at home, but if I stay at home and I'm go, don't go and bring these things to her then who will and I, like the system is just it's outrageous people aren't keeping distance there's no one cares i'm gonna end this because i'm pissed off also i forgot to bring her an eye mask so i think i've got to go again now and my head's gonna explode in a minute the first half for me consisted of horrible headaches for three days random diarrhea for about 24 hours sorry tmi but we're a family here okay and a week of absolutely no symptoms and then bam all the flu-like symptoms you can think of body aches headaches fatigue sore throat probably a fever i don't know i didn't check but basically i felt awful and the worst part was i had no appetite i was basically feeding myself with potatoes don't get me wrong i love Love potatoes. Potatoes are absolute fire. Here's how I make them. Grab as many medium-sized potatoes as you want, cut them in half, and lay them out on a baking tray. Coat each potato with olive oil, salt and pepper, and some chili powder for that extra kick. This bit kind of changes the game, trust me. Pop them into the oven and they're ready in about half an hour, depending on the size of the potatoes. On the side, I just cut up some tomatoes, some cucumber and lettuce, added some oil and vinegar, and there you go. I also love having some of this vegan cheese on the side from a brand called Delish. It's made from cashews and honestly tastes heavenly with potatoes. Another dish I had a lot of was pea soup. I know, it sounds so boring. And it kind of is, but it's also extremely easy to make, super affordable, full of proteins, and gets you nice and full. All you have to do is put a bag of frozen peas into a saucepan, then add a can of chopped tomatoes into the peas, and you can use the same can to add five cans of water into the mix to make it more, you know, soup-like. Then just let it simmer for around 40 minutes minutes until the peas are cooked through and enjoy. I also have a severe obsession with bread. I don't know about you, but I'm so glad bread is vegan because I honestly don't know what I'd do without it. I made some homemade hummus to go with it, which tasted heavenly. If you want to see how I make my hummus, let me know in the comments. But then things got mm, progressively worse. I lost my sense of taste and smell, and I felt like it was game over from now on. Okay, I've just come in to document this because I'm having one of my favorite ninja balls. The spice level of this has like gotten much higher. So weird. I feel like my taste buds have really heightened. It makes no sense. But at the same time, I can't smell any of it and I can barely actually taste the flavor. But then I can kind of sense that it's spicy or sour. It's so hard to explain, but that is literally what's going on. It's the weirdest experience of my life. Also, I don't know what's happening, but I'm getting some kind of weird rash here, which I don't know if that's just me, if that's anything to do with Corona. Like, I have no idea. I feel broken. He's living his absolute best life though. Aren't you, buddy? Aren't you? An even bigger problem was that I was so hungry all of a sudden. I wanted to eat absolutely everything, but it all tasted like actual cardboard. Not that I've tasted cardboard before, but this is how I imagine it would taste. It's an extremely miserable experience, and some people were telling me they've been like this for months. If you've been here long enough, you'll know that I hate mushrooms more than anything. But I was even able to eat an entire mushroom-based patty without tasting a single bit of it. The texture still horrified me, though. So yesterday, I ate this sauce. It's like a chili sauce. And I could actually smell it a little bit. Like a little smidgeroon, and today it's gone completely. Then, the odd cravings came. I started craving everything and anything. I even started craving meat and cheese at one point, and I haven't had either of those in about five years. What was happening to me? I soothed my cravings with getting myself a Beyond Meat burger and some fries. But, yeah, you guessed it, I couldn't taste a single thing. It was a sad experience, especially for the price I paid, but hey, that was me being stupid knowing I wouldn't be able to taste it and ordering it anyway. Everything I ate was bland, just tasteless and sad. Even though my memory knew what the majority of the food should taste like, my taste buds were completely dead and I could neither smell nor taste a single flavor. I swear I could buy
bite into a raw onion and not taste a single damn thing. Six days later, my senses started to slowly reappear. As messed up as this is about to sound, I have never been more happy to smell my own... Yeah, I mean, you get it. It's about day seven today. So one week since I basically announced to you guys that I've got COVID, I cannot even describe how bad it's been. It's literally like eating cardboard all the time and just drinking water, which is not that bad, but still, it ain't great. Mm. This is like the only thing that's kind of been getting me through this. And it's the only thing I can really taste is peanut butter. It's very weird, but I'm very, very grateful for it. Mm. Sorry, I'm a bit too into it. So good. The cravings were now stronger than ever though. My taste was back, so I had to naturally eat everything and anything, right? Fries were a major craving. I also couldn't stop watching other people eating fries. All I wanted to do was sit in a car, go to a drive-thru and purchase some fries and a soda. But sadly, we don't have drive throughs here. Oreos was another thing I could not stop eating. They're vegan, by the way, if you didn't know. I'm usually not a fan at all of them, but I'm telling you, something weird was happening to me. I wasn't myself at all. These peach iced tea drinks are what got me through everything. Absolutely terrible for you and filled with so much sugar. I mean, it's the second ingredient on the list. That's when you know it's awful for you. However, they taste magnificent, especially when they're ice cold through a glass or metal straw. Oh my God, I was hooked. So we may have gone slightly overboard. Yep, that is an entire crate of these. Not crate, what is it called? I don't even know. I guess box, but yeah, we're kind of obsessed and we have problems and there's more in the fridge. They're so good though. Finally, a week or so later, I'm almost back to being fully my old self. I've started my routine again with oatmeal, obviously in the mornings, and I'm going to be cutting out the junk food and sugary drinks. It was fun while it lasted. But seriously, I don't wish a loss of these senses on anyone. It's crazy how much it can affect you not being able to smell or taste a single thing. See ya, COVID. It was nice knowing ya. Also, thankfully, my mom is at home and fine, living her best life again. Yeah, that's pretty much it. In all seriousness, it's not a fun time and obviously some people go through it way more harshly than others do. So if you are going through it badly, I'm so sorry. Or if you have a family, family member that's going through it badly, I'm also very, very sorry. And I don't know why I decided to film in the sun when I'm literally blinded by the light. Blinded by the light. Okay, well subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it and I will see you next week in my next video when I'm finally better and we can actually go out and do fun stuff. Not that I've done that in my videos before, but you know, never too late to start. Bye.